In this video I'm going to show you how you can animate a candle in Procreate 5 using Animation Assist. Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave van de Groot, a Dutch artist, but you can call me Stave. I created an HD file, 1920 by 1080 pixels, and imported a background of a candle. And the first thing I'm going to do is toggle on Animation Assist. Go to Actions, Canvas, and then toggle on Animation Assist. Now I'm going to press on the background and set it to background. And I'm going to add a new frame. And now you can animate over a background. And I'm using the Peppermint Pencil. I'm choosing a light yellow color and I'm going to animate the flame with that. So I'm first going to draw the first flame and I'm just going to do the outline and later on I will uh, color uh, the entire flame. And now I have uh, onion skinning on and also color secondary frames. With that you can see uh, the frame that you've drawn before and the frame you have drawn after. And I'm gonna set the frames to maybe 24 frames per second, which is uh, a film rate. And when you work in higher frame rates, you need to be very precise in you know, making the next frame. When you have a background, you don't see the red or green uh, secondary color. It's just an outline. And you can use that, you know, to see what you have drawn before. So I'm just going to make little changes and also uh, a little flicker of the flame. And it's just going to jump up a little bit. I just want to add a little variation to uh, the flame flickering. And you know, sometimes when you look at a flame, uh, sometimes little flames come off of the, the big flame. The flame also changes direction because sometimes there's a little gust of wind, you know, that makes it uh, go to the right or to the left. And also creating a little flame that comes from the right of the flame. And then it lifts off. The reason why I'm first doing it with outlines is that you can, you know, better see what you're doing. And the frames before you see, you know, the line you've drawn before. If you do it with an entire shape, it's harder to see what you have drawn before. So it's now going to the right and the little flame that comes off just disappears in thin air. This is all recorded in uh, real time. So when you're doing animation, you have to draw a lot and you know, you just have to take the time to make the animation. I really love this new feature in Procreate 5, the animation assist. And it's great that you now can finally make 2D animations in a great uh, painting app because you have so many brushes you can animate with, and especially for special effects and, you know, flicker of a candle is also uh, a special effect. 
and it's great you know you can use all of the brushes i really like this new peppermint pencil i think they made it for animators because it's uh, a little bit similar to core erase and now i'm just gonna play part of the flame and it's a little bit too fast so I'm going to change the settings of the frames per second. So I'm going to set it to 12 frames a second. So I'm going to animate everything on twos, you know, and for 2D animation, they uh, most of the time animated everything uh, on two. So each frame is held for one more frame. And in this way, you don't have to draw that much and it still looks pretty good. So I'm just keep adding uh, new frames. And I want the flame to be a little bit smaller and then come up again. So you have a variety of a loop because this is going to be a loop of a candle. And this is a pretty simple animation you can do. Now it's going to the right again and it builds up a little. And this is straight ahead animation. So I just go on animating frame by frame. So there's no real planning. And this makes it a little bit more organic. And it's great, you know, to have a flow in your animation. It's just a little flicker that, you know, comes up and then disappears because it's very small. And sometimes, you know, you can check it by just uh, pressing on play. And now I duplicated the first layer and I'm going to scroll it to the end. So before that, I'm going to make um, another frame. So this is great. You know, if you want to draw in a loop, the first frame uh, of your animation needs to be close to the end frame. And when you're using onion skinning, you know, you can set it to um, two uh, skin frames. And with the blend color, it will blend the two um, frames together. I still need to find out, you know, how I really can use that feature. But now I'm just using onion skinning, so just going to draw an in-between. So I'm checking it again and it has a nice flow.
And I set the animation to loop, so it just keeps looping. And you know, you can scroll from left to right, you know, to check all of your frames. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to use the same pencil, but use uh, the tilt function of the Apple Pencil because the peppermint has a very nice structure to it. So now I'm just going to fill in uh, with the same color, but it's a little bit more transparent. I'm gonna fast forward this and I come back when I add uh, the last color. Now I'm gonna choose a more of an orange color and I'm gonna color all of the flames in the base of the flame. Because when you look at a real candle, you know, you can see that the, the base of your flame is a little bit darker. So now I'm going to add uh, also with uh, the tilt of my Apple Pencil and the peppermint has a nice structure to it so that you can, you know, blend the colors. So you have to go over each frame again to add the dark color. So this is the last frame and I'm just gonna check it and it looks pretty good. I still want um, to add a new layer to it. Um, gonna add a new frame. I'm gonna set it to foreground. So I have to toggle it on. And I want a little bit more of a spread or uh, the light that, you know, is on top of all the animated layers. And I'm gonna use a soft brush. And I'm gonna set the, the blend mode to color dodge. Add this a little bit too strong and color dodge works well because it bleeds into your painting. And this is how you can animate a candle in Procreate using Animation Assist and also the background and foreground uh, features in doing an animation. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want me to do more videos like this, please let me know in the comments down below. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!